Greg Clark. I am the managing director and business owner of QMS Quality Marking Services, uh, based in Newton Abbott here in Devon. Um, for my sins, I've been in this industry now for pretty much 28 years to the day. Uh, left school, running out of the gates as quickly as possible, and, uh, and started in July 1990. Um, during my time in my career so far, worked on line marking, high friction surfacing, road studs, uh, sign cleaning for a time, which was an absolute nightmare, but one of those things we had to go through. And uh, worked on the tools, laying high friction surfacing. Been involved in pretty much all of the, uh, the different surface types, from hot applied to the epoxies, polyurethanes, uh, and most recently with MMA technology, uh, which we started working with about 10 years ago, roughly. And uh, I know those from Devon are certainly well familiar with the MMA. So that's kind of who I am and, uh, and where I've come from. Today, I am here representing the um, RSTA. I sit on the uh, committee and, uh, for the high friction surfacing. And I've been asked to do a short presentation on the new uh, code of practice that's utilized. So the ADEPT code of practice has been written by the Road Surface Treatment Association, high friction surfacing sector, together with ADEPT, to assist procurers and installers to obtain a high quality, durable surface treatment. The design manual for roads and bridges recommends the use of high friction surfacing on sites which have been identified as being in the highest risk category, requiring the highest level of surface friction. In many locations on the network, high friction surfacing is considered essential to keep the road surface adequately safe for road users. To obtain the best results, it is necessary to give careful consideration to a wide range of details and to plan and design the work carefully and only use HAPAS approved installers. The code of practice has been fully reviewed from the original 2011 version and was issued last year in 2017. It has been fully endorsed by the Road Safety Marking Association and its member companies, together with being approved by SG1, and a copy is available through the publication section of the RSTA website. The purpose of this code of practice is to identify the important aspects of the high friction surfacing process, whilst referring to other documents relating to good applications of high friction surfacing and to give practical guidance on achieving high quality. The code of practice is split into 17 sections, which include determining suitable sites for successful installations and the different types of high friction surface treatment with each of their own beneficial attributes. A designated section on asset management is included within the code of practice, which has been based upon a two year study conducted by the BBA in 2013-2014. This study concluded that the vast majority of high friction surfacing sites investigated gave a minimum service life of five years. And on average, hot applied systems demonstrated eight years life, whilst cold applied systems, 12 years. In addition to the independent survey by BBA, in 2015, a scrim survey conducted on London roads concluded that on sites requiring a scrim level of 0.55 or above, calcine bauxite outperformed other aggregate types over time, including those used within high PSV asphalt. 
Specifying the correct high friction surface treatment is paramount for ensuring a long term durable system which performs to the standards required. The code of practice references clause 924 of the specification for highway works together with an inclusion of HAPAS requirements for both systems and installers to ensure a successful installation. A section providing assistance for the customer on the amount and type of information that should be provided to the installer to ensure a successful installation. This includes the type of system, location and site plan, existing substrate, quantity and colour. The inclusion of the treatment of high friction surfacing to manhole covers is also included within the code of practice to provide assistance in decision making as to whether these should be treated with the system or suitably masked along with the road markings. Planning and coordinating of the works is to be taken as a collaborative approach between the installer and the client to ensure a successful installation. Traffic management, where applicable, should be discussed and agreed in advance between the installer and the client to ensure a smooth delivery of the project. All those involved in preparing and executing high friction surfacing operations have a legal duty of care for the health and safety of the operatives carrying out the works and those who come into contact with the operation, including the general public. This is whilst the works are in progress and also during aftercare. As such, health, safety and environmental concerns are detailed within the code of practice. The construction, design and management regulations, CDM, generally do not apply to the application of the process on single sites. However, on larger schemes and on larger programs, clients are urged to follow closely the advice in the relevant approved code of practice as they have the responsibility under the new version of the regulations for initiating the framework for safe working practices. The inclusion of a planning section within the code of practice enables both client and contractor to understand the best practice approach in executing these proprietary safety surfacing systems. Whilst planning the works, consideration must be taken for suitable traffic management to safely deliver the works. Certain locations may require road closure or convoy working to provide a safe area of working for the installation teams. A very brief reference to traffic management is detailed within the code of practice, advising that only traffic management contractors accredited to the National Highway Sector Scheme 12 carry out these works. As with most surface coverings, the correct and adequate surface preparation is imperative in ensuring a successful system is installed. Let's not forget, high friction surfacing is fundamentally a safety surface. Increasing the friction at the most vulnerable and high stress locations to reduce braking distance and ultimately to save lives. Within this section of the code of practice, a detailed approach to surface preparation is included to assist both the client and the contractor in ensuring the substrate is indeed suitable for the installation of this safety surfacing. High friction systems are generally split into two categories, hot applied and cold applied. Both systems utilize a resin based material and the addition of calcined bauxite. The hot systems encapsulate the aggregate within the thermoplastic resin, 
whereas the cold applied systems have a scatter of aggregate to the wet resin film, which is then locked into the system during the curing process. Each contractor will have their own method statement for installation of the chosen system. These should mirror, or at least include, the approved method statement as part of the BBA HAPAS approval, which should always be available to the installation team on site. Within the updated code of practice, typical installations of both systems are included for an immediate ease of reference, differencing the two systems from each other. The inclusion of a performance criteria to achieve a five year guarantee of the installed system is a fundamental development within the code of practice. With the BBA report indicating that hot applied systems provide an average of eight years and 12 years for cold systems, more clients are expecting high friction surfacing to perform for longer with a minimum expectation of five years. It should be noted there are now a few contractors out there and manufacturers who are indeed offering five-year guarantees to customers. This section within the code of practice demonstrates how the system is expected to perform throughout this time frame and what constitutes a failure. This is detailed in the accompanying table indicating the minimum service performance criteria over the five year period. All high friction surfacing systems shall have the HAPAS certification, although there is now an alternative system to HAPAS available, which has been recently introduced into the market. This will form part of the next review of the code of practice, which is reviewed annually, although not necessarily amended. The quality assurance section of the code of practice details what is expected from installers to ensure a successful, high quality safety system is installed for the customer. All HAPAS certificated installers are displayed on the BBA website, providing an easy reference for clients to ensure that their appointed contractor is certificated for the chosen and specified system. A key part of the system procedure is the use of trained and competent staff, which is detailed within the training section of the code of practice. The code of practice details the requirement that all operatives should hold an NVQ level two. The crew charge hand, crew supervisor, should hold an NVQ level three. And a supervisor in charge of more than one crew should hold an NVQ level four. All crew members should hold their relevant CSCS cards for their trade. Membership to the RSTA is available to manufacturers and installers of high friction surfacing systems. There is a condition that any member company holds the appropriate HAPAS or now equivalent certification for their high friction system. In addition to the main sections of the code of practice, there are two appendices, which Appendix A provides a quick reference checklist for both contractor and client, which covers the salient points of the code of practice, and Appendix B, which details the key points for the client's consideration for a five-year guarantee of any high friction surfacing system. I think you'll agree that the review and upgrade of the code of practice to the current publication has a tremendous potential to assist with the improved delivery and performance of high friction surface treatment, which when installed correctly, the end result should look like this. Thank you. <laughs>